It's very overwhelming. You're in charge of 30 children. You know, it's a big responsibility and you want to do your absolute best. So it has been a really challenging year. It's like, oh, this is me, the responsibility's on me and how do I put it in practice to benefit the children in your class. So it is a roller coaster ride, you're up and down and you've good days and bad days, but if you just persevere, I think you'll get through in the end. At the School of Education at the University of Hertfordshire, they recognise that the first year as a newly qualified teacher can be daunting. That's why they've invited these NQTs back to university to join a session they call Thinking Space. Led by Head of Continuing Professional Development, Sally Graham, it's a way to nurture the existing relationship between NQT and university. I think that it's absolutely vital that um, if we've started having a relationship with these students, um, that we continue that relationship on. I just thought maybe we would start off by just talking together a little bit about uh, some of the things that actually have been happening. I mean, maybe... Often we invite local authority advisors or teachers who've been working and have more experience than them to come along and to use that time and that space to actually begin to think about some of the things that are issues in their everyday practice. You know, I was meant to be on my PPA this afternoon and they never turned up. It was just frustrating because it wasn't actually their fault that they're, they're covering somebody else. And will you get your PPA time? No, I don't think so, no. It could seem that it's just like a space to chat, but actually engaging in conversation is very important so that we can begin to build trusting relationships, which I think is key. Because if we're really going to be critical friends to each other, we actually need to be able to trust each other. And also, what we're really, really about is trying to engage these newly qualified teacher in the process of reflective inquiry. OK, what I thought we would do is, you know the 3D model that we introduced to you before? And that's the 3D model. We've introduced this idea of the 3D reflective tool. Discover, we want you to actually identify some part of your practice and to actually document that in your learning journals. Deepen, we want you to engage in finding out more about it. And then do something. It's been really useful to actually be able to come home put them down in my journal and they're there so I've sort of, I'm using it as a sort of emotional space as well to get things off my chest. They are a place where you do need to go back to it so it's not a question of your parking these things because some of these things do need to be addressed. You bring an issue to the thinking space and maybe your peers might have something to contribute to it but you're also challenged yourself to think more deeply. It can actually help their confidence to grow so that when they're back in their own practice in their classrooms, I think they feel braver in taking risks. The whole school were inside on a snow day and nobody was going out and I put all my children into their waterproof coats and into the waterproofs and we went out and we ran around on the field. The University of Hertfordshire run these sessions up to three times a year across North London. NQTs who can demonstrate their learning from Thinking Space can gain accreditation towards their masters. It's really useful and having other people's ideas has definitely helped me, I feel, personally be more creative and I know like um, the tutors have been great, you know, they've given us ideas about good practice that they've seen. I really do believe that they have the solutions to many of the issues themselves. It's that because they're very engaged in the early part of their professional development, they don't quite know yet which strategy to use or how to actually go about that. So working together is, of course, a, you know, a wonderful way of doing that. So if you want, I can send you like a copy over. I know obviously for you it's your um, foundation stage coordinator, but if you do get to that point, then I'll send you ours over if you like. Well, that's a really nice, actually, thank you very much, and you, nice idea to share that. And I think other people here might be interested in that as well, so that would be brilliant.